Oh, boy. I don't think it's gender specific. I'm gonna guess that only one gender does, but I don't want to be politically incorrect. The female ones, because we're no, we know that females are bloodsuckers. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Honestly, I don't know enough about mosquitoes. I need to know more. This is not right. There is a broad range of knowledge on how mosquitoes affect residents of communities across the U.S. Educating residents on these nuisance and disease-carrying pests, methods of control, and ways residents can contribute to reducing populations is critical to making leisure and work activities more pleasant throughout communities. The name of the, the department that protects my community for mosquitoes, I don't know. EPA? I don't know. I didn't know there was a department that did that. The Department of Agriculture? There's no department. I don't know. I have no idea. In 1912, New Jersey became the first state to authorize the formation of mosquito abatement districts. Today, there are approximately 715 MADs and 1,115 small municipal control entities in the U.S. And they work closely with the Centers for Disease Control and the EPA to structure effective programs and outreach. The primary focus of these organizations, which are generally funded with state taxes and municipal and state levies, is protecting the public health by implementing environmentally sound practices that control mosquito populations. It is important to remember, however, that the input and cooperation by communities is necessary for a successful control program, and residents can get involved by becoming educated on mosquito facts. Larva what? Um, could you spell it for me? Uh, I know what larvae is. Those are the little things in the water. Oh, gosh. I've never heard these things before. Let's look at the important work and complex factors that drive mosquito control district programs. Each mosquito abatement district across the U.S. operates differently based on the size of the populations they serve, annual control budgets, and geography. One consistent factor, however, is to maximize the positive impact they have on communities. In this very regulated industry focused on public health and safety, mosquito abatement districts work closely with the EPA on guidelines set by and methods endorsed by them. During emergency situations or periods of mosquito-borne disease outbreaks, they will also collaborate with the Centers for Disease Control. Mosquito abatement districts with successful programs combine many factors, using an integrated pest management approach for maximum effectiveness. The first factor is larval and adult mosquito sampling to monitor populations and schedule the application of control products at the appropriate intervals. Another important role of mosquito abatement districts is source reduction of mosquito larvae by reducing standing water in communities when possible using best practices and surveillance. Also critical is the biological control of populations by using native or introduced predators, such as mosquito fish and parasites of mosquitoes. And when indicated by surveillance methods, a successful program is not complete without the application of environmentally sound products, like larvicides to control mosquito larvae and adulticides to control adult populations. Simultaneous to all these efforts is public education and awareness programs that empower communities to play an active role in reducing populations. Programs communicate ways the public can reduce standing water in their backyards, educate communities on new and emerging mosquito species, such as Aedes aegypti or Asian tiger, and explain disease prevention tactics for healthier lives. Mosquito abatement districts play a critical role in protecting the public health and safety of communities, and their roles are often underestimated. By becoming aware of the important contributions of these organizations and proactively getting involved in mosquito control efforts, residents across the U.S. will enjoy a higher quality of life with fewer mosquitoes. Oh, oh, oh. I love learning. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs>